If you like my video, please click on the like button and for more videos, please subscribe to my channel on YouTube. So our next topic is global climate change. And in this case, there are three things. One is greenhouse effect and global warming. Second is acid rain and third is ozone layer depletion. So as per the greenhouse effect, let's discuss about this process. First of all, in the natural environment, solar radiation from the sun is coming to the earth's surface, which is reflected back and going back into the space. It, it escapes from the surface of the earth and moves into the space. But in the presence of large concentration of carbon dioxide, methane, N2O, the, the solar radiation coming from the sun is trapped into the atmosphere and it is not allowed to leave the surface and that's why the temperature of the surface of the earth increases. This process is known as greenhouse effect and the gases responsible for this are known as greenhouse gases and the rise in temperature in, is known as the global warming. So, which are the gases responsible for the global warming? These are mainly carbon dioxide, methane, nitrous oxide, chlorofluorocarbon. And what are the activities responsible for the emission of these gases? First of all, fossil fuel burning. If you are burning anything, you are producing carbon monoxide or carbon dioxide. So, these are greenhouse gases. Industrial process emits a large amount of carbon dioxide and other gases. So, they are also deforestation increases the percentage of carbon dioxide livestock also emits the carbon dioxide and other gases biomass burning if you're burning anything it will produce carbon dioxide and coal mining also liberates large amount of carbon dioxide what are the effect of these things first of all there is climate change all the climate is changing all the seasons are now different and they are affected by these gases and these emissions secondly rise in sea level as the temperature of the earth increases there is melting of the ice caps and this increases the level of sea agriculture production goes decreasing there will be more chances of storms and and other things then adverse effect on human health then loss of ecosystem and biodiversity these are some of the effects of this global climate change Effect of carbon dioxide increases air and the earth's surface may grow warmer. It will increase the warmest, uh, the temperature of the earth's surface. The, the stratosphere may become the cooler. The other part of the surface of the earth becomes cooler. Temperature and temperate and polar regions may become warmer leading to the reduction in the ice over the earth's surface. So it will decrease the ice cap also. Rainfall may be higher than what it is present in the temperate region and the greater amount of evaporation due to the excess warmth. So how can we control this? Reduction in the use of fossil fuel. First of all, we have to reduce the uses of fossil fuel. Shifting to the renewable energy sources may decrease the greenhouse gas emission. Then increase increasing the use of energy efficient and cleaner production technologies and devices also reducing deforestation adopting better forest management practices and understanding afforestation to a better to reduce the carbon amount. so that was all about the greenhouse effect